Hello, welcome back to the videos here with Piano Music and Repair, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to tune your own grand piano. Let's go ahead and get into this video. This is going to get very exciting. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the piano. All right, right here is our grand piano. So, um, what we're going to do first is we're going to go down here and there's probably y'all probably a lot of people have a lot of stuff on their piano. Go ahead and move that off and uh, we're going to go ahead and get to work. And before you do anything to take this to take your grand piano, open it up. Before you do anything, make sure you have the right tools to do it with. What you will need is a piano tuning hammer or tuning wrench or tuning tool there's a lot many multiple different names for this item right here this is a star tipped piano tuning tool or lever you can call it lever i like to call it tuning lever make sure it is a star tipped do not get scammed into getting a square tipped piano tuning hammer or lever because you want the star tip so you can have more control around the pins Next thing we're going to need is two. I have one with me. I have one upstairs if I need it. We're going to need two of these. These are piano wedge mutes. And what you do with these is you push them in between the strings to mute off the unisons. So, let's go ahead and get to taking our piano and getting it ready for tuning. So, first thing what we're going to do... So we're going to open the top, the front, the key, the flyboard, or the fall board, and we're going to play every note on the piano. We're going to play everything from 1 to 88. We're going to play it. This key, I need to put a new, I need to fix the string in this key. You're going to play it, and if it sounds out of tune to your ear or to your device, then that is a sign you need to tune it. That's the first thing you do. And you also will need, you can use your phone, get a piano tuning app. It's recommended. Um, do not tune it by ear. Um, pianos ain't like guitars. You can mess a piano up really bad. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simply um, open the lid. Now, if you do not know how to open the lid and you had, so say if you had a grand piano for so, a long time and you find and you just used it for furniture and now you want to start playing it. How you open the grand piano lid is some of them open different ways. Most cases, this part right here, you're going to grab right here and you're going to fold the top part back and then the lid will lift up and then there'll be a rod. You pull up and you push it into the hole. This piano works differently. These are two separate pieces. So, when you flip this piece back, you're going to lift up the whole thing. Just like that. And you can see the hole that it goes in. Sometimes your piano will have multiple different holes, but mine only has one. Because it's an older model. And when you open that lid, it will expose the strings and the, and the harp and the soundboard. What we're going to do is we're going to get this wood, we're going to get this rod... We're going to push it into that hole. Simple as that. This piano lid rides a little lower than normal. Simply because it's an older model. Now, after that, sometimes your piano will have this. This will be a music desk right here on the piano. Most cases, the music desk will slide off. It's on some guides. It's on a track, and most of the time it'll just slide off, and you just slide it back on when you're done. In this case, the piano thing, it just lifts off of a couple of latches. This one just lifts. So, again, most if, you're, if you have to fold your lid back and open it, you're going to take your music desk, and you're going to, to get each end with both hands, and you're going to pull out. It's going to slide. Sometimes it might, some, you might have a hard time at first, kind of wiggle it through if you need to let's go ahead and take this piece off all right it's that easy 
And now your piano should look like this when you open it. This is a four foot six baby grand piano by Kimball. Now, I'm gonna open the lid and we're gonna start tuning. So let's do okay. it. Okay, so now we're ready to tune. And what we're gonna do when we tune any piano or a grand, we're always gonna start on middle C. So, and the reason because of this is because you do not want, because if you start tuning from the very bottom, you're going to end up with a big headache when you're done because you're going to be listening to all these low notes and you're going to have to listen to them all the way through here tuning them a bit. So, therefore, we're going to start on middle C. Anything, and you can start anywhere above middle C as well. You can start from up going down. A lot of people do that. I start at middle C and go up all the way to the end and then start back at B natural and then go all the way down. That's what I do. So, um, like I said, you can go any octave past middle C, any note or any octave past middle C. So, what we're going to do is we are going to get our tuning hammer or lever, whatever you want to call it. And we are going to find the note, middle C. We're going to trace that note, come back down. And we're always going to loosen the string before we tighten it, just to make sure that we're on the right string. So, so now that our tuning hammer is on the right place, we're going to take our wedge mute, and we're going to hit the note, and we're going to mute that set of strings right there. We're going to put the wedge between the middle in the right hand string. So. And there we go. We got that string muted. And now we only hear one string. So we're gonna tune that up to pitch. You can hear how low it is. So I'm gonna get right, I'm gonna tune this up to pitch and I'm gonna show you, cause I need my phone for my tuner and I'm gonna show you how to tune the rest. All right, I've tuned a couple of notes here with my tuner. Um, so what I do is I started at C mm -hmm. and I tuned up and I made sure it was exactly on the line to where I looked, to where this first middle C was. I tuned it a tad bit sharp. It's in tune now. So now, so I made sure I, I tuned middle C and then I tuned C sharp, D and D sharp and E. So, um, Tuning all of these notes, um, I I went by the line on my phone, which you can use your phone for at first if you're tuning them yourself, and I made sure it was perfectly on the line. And uh, when I get to F, right here is where we can we can all tune by ear. Most of us can tune by ear, even if you do not have perfect pitch. I have perfect pitch; it's a little easier for me. But any, almost anybody can hear the harmonics. So what I'm going to do is hit F and C at the same time. And I am going to bring my note. I'm going to bring my F until it sounds. You'll hear what I'm about to do. If I can to adjust my camera. That'll work right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit C and F at the same time. And I'm going to pull my F up until it's perfectly straight. And you'll hear, you'll hear what I mean by straight in just a second. Right there is straight. It's like some people would use like the wah 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 that. You want to be you want there to be zero of that in there. You want there to be zero beats. I know that's that's the word for what I was looking for beats. You don't want there to be any beats. And now I'm just gonna keep doing that same process 
Again, moving our um, wedge and then tuning the other string. Making sure that note sounds like one and not two. that perfect and now we're going to take our wedge meat out we're going to put it on the next set of strings and we're going to finish tuning the last so last string on that last note just like that now we're going to move to the sec um to the other note and um in just a minute i will show you um how to know which um um how to know which string is where i'm going to show you that in just a minute but now you you want the harm you want there to be zero beats you don't want there to be a you don't want that because if you have that, your piano, your, if you keep tuning with that F, and if it's not completely sh sharp enough, your whole piano is going to be screwed up when you're done. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish, and then I will get back with y'all when I'm going to get back with y'all when I hit the bass section. So, I'm going to tune the rest of this, and I'll see y'all in just a little bit. All right, so I have got the um right side of the piano done um on this particular piano i have paused i have stopped right here on on the last damper i stopped right there um and i'm not going to tune the rest simply because um simply because i'm going to sell this piano here in a, here in a little while and um not only that but it is getting late and um yeah so we're gonna um, we're gonna leave that. Plus, um, I don't you don't I don't really use too many songs that come up here. I mean, sometimes I do every now and then, but um, I think I can get by without doing it tonight. But um, it's you know, um, but yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and go on down to where to the first note to where I we're gonna start right here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a I'm gonna play a C chord and you can hear after I tune. All right, that's where I tuned, and here's where I start not tuning. You can really hear that that left note there. That's fine. Just when you add that B right there. That's where I didn't tune. That's how low this piano is. You can really hear where I stopped tuning. Um, but I'm going to go ahead now. What we're going to do. We're going to take our tuning. I'm just going to call it a tuning hammer. And we're going to go on our B natural. And we're just going to start... Same as we did going up, but we're going to go down. And guys, I will see y'all when we get to the two-string bass notes. So, I will see you then. All right, I have finished tuning. Now, we're going to go ahead. These are the notes that I've tuned. And this right here is the note that I... That's the, the note. This is the last note that I tuned. Well, this right here, I, I went ahead and tuned, I tuned all this down here. Now, we're on our first bass note so now let's hear how this chord sounds now after that note's tuned sounds really clear
Sounds pretty good. And there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go on to our bass notes here. So now we are on our two string bass notes and our note is going to be E. So um, this piano is probably very nasty. Oh, wow. You can see, I don't know what that is. This piano's pretty dirty. I don't know what that is. Probably a hair. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. This piano needs, I need to clean it again. So now what we're going to do to mute off is we are going to um, take our wedge mute and uh, we're going to push it right here. Just like that, and don't push it up at the hammer because it won't let it won't let the hammer release back down. So slide it back around here, probably about right there is good. And now you're only hearing one string. You're only hearing one string. So, um, yeah. And then you're just gonna tune it to pitch. Well, um, we're finished with the piano. Um, yeah, we're ready to um, ready to test out the, the, the piano. Um, I know I said I were going to look into this right here on this, but um, I just remembered you only do that on upright. I'm kind of tired tonight. Um, but anyway, our grand piano is all done. It's um, well, not all of it, but like I said. Um, I ain't gonna tune the rest up the, on the high notes, the real high ones, because, um, like I said, I'm gonna be selling this piano here soon. It's not for sale yet, if y'all are wondering. This piano will be sale. It'll be for sale here a little bit after Christmas, probably about two weeks after Christmas. I'll post it for sale. Um, of course, I'll do the whole thing. I'll post a video about it and then the action and everything else. Um, I'll pull the action out for the video, you know, all that, etc. But, uh, yeah, we got the piano all done, so I think it's time to um, see how we did and to play a little bit of a song. So, let's go ahead and see what we did. Pop y'all up there. All right. I'm going to start off with playing a little bit of Beethoven, a little bit of For You Lease. Pedal squeaking too, if you're wondering what that is. Um, I think we did a pretty good job with it. I think it's a pretty good piano. I think it's pretty good tune. Let's try some nice. did a pretty good job. I think it sounds good. Now, a song I really want to try is The Entertainer. This pedal squeaks. I'm going to get that fixed too before I sell it. But um, let's go ahead and try out The Entertainer. Sorry about that.
sounds pretty good. So, um, I think this piano is pretty good in tune. Um, it's in tune for the winter. Um, I tuned it just, um, at the end of summer, but of course fall came and the winter's coming really, really in the, like, winter's literally almost here. Probably is here by the time this video is uploaded. Um, but yeah, so climate change, season change, that'll mess with it. This piano was really flat and, um, we tuned it right up to concert pitch and uh, a little bit above actually but yeah i think it's pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and end the test on a song that i like to call that's called last date <laughs> And, um, it's good in tune now. We're going to go ahead and, um, put the piano back together. Um, same way it came off. But, um, anyway, this string right here, you might have saw earlier, this is the string that I need to get put back on here. It, um, I was playing and, um, it, uh, I was playing and it just popped out. Um, I guess because the person who restrung it last didn't do the best of job. So, um, we got all these fixed right here. These are fine. These are all good and fixed. I just yet to get this one fixed. There was, this one had a little bit more of a loop was a little messed up. Um, it's fine now, but, um, I got my professional licensed technician to come and look at it. Um, we've known each other for a couple years now. Um, he's going to come and. Um, make sure it's in right, but all these are perfectly fine um, But yeah, I'll, I'll do another video about all that when I'm selling it, but um, I'm not gonna give out any price until um, Until um, I sell it but so it's time to put your piano back together So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right. We got the piano all put back together She's all done and um ready to um ready to wait for its other maintenance. So um that'll be the end of this video. I had to get a complete picture there for you. I need to fix a blemish before I sell it too. Um but yeah, so um I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. If you can, comments don't usually always work. I'm gonna get that squeaky fix too. That is extremely annoying. So, uh, yeah, so thank y'all for watching, and that is how to tune your grand piano. That is the same as a baby grand, grand piano, 
or even a concert grand piano. Same method, same thing. So, um, that'll be, that'll be the end. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you, I will see y'all next time.